somebody would have told me, babe Someday these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Hey mom and dad, it's Abby here. Can you believe your little girl is graduating college? The same little girl who ran around the house naked, always causing problems. Yep, I'm getting my degree. Mom, words will never be enough to describe how thankful I am to be your daughter. You are the hardest working mother and you love and care for all of us. Things would literally fall to pieces without you. You are beautiful, kind, driven, and a straight up boss. You're my mom, friend, therapist, and academic advisor. Who knows where I would be if you didn't stay up with me until the wee hours of the night while I was crying at the kitchen table as you tried to teach me fractions. You wear so many hats, and I hope to be just like you one day. I love you, Mama. Dad, my best friend, my biggest supporter, coach, and loving father. I think back to the good old days when I was on three soccer teams and we traveled to KC every weekend. Traveling and eating barbecue with you are some of my favorite memories. Dad, you always pushed me to be the best I could be, and I will forever be thankful for the times we went out to the soccer field to practice some new skills, or we went to the track and you taught me how to long jump. My favorite memories of all are waking you up at any time of the night so that you can kill a spider for me. I love you, old man. Mom and Dad, you both made me into the young woman I am today, and I couldn't be happier to call you to my parents. And yes, I'll be your CNA when, you, when you're when you old and crippled. Mom and Dad, I could go on and on for hours about how I am so lucky God chose you to be my parents. But unfortunately, we don't have all day. Thank you so much for being a constant support in my life, especially in these last four years of college. Mom, you're such an icon and I don't know what I'd do without you. You are an amazing mother who taught me that being kind is always the answer. You have touched so many lives, including my own. I hope to at least be half the person and mother you are someday. Thank you for always picking up the phone at any time of day and listening to my rants about school. I'm convinced you're the one that motivated me to keep pushing through. You don't get enough credit for all you do for me and our family. You are treasured and loved beyond measure. You're truly my best friend, Mom. I love you. Dad, thank you so much for being my partner in crime. We have had so many fun adventures together and some would say that we are up to no good. You've taught me to never take life too seriously and any problem can be fixed over a good plate of steak nachos and listening to Gucci flip-flops by Bad Baby. You're the only person I would call late at night and willingly admit that I got a whopping 54% on my first Bio 101 exam freshman year. You always make me feel better about my life problems and somehow have me laughing by the end of every conversation. You were the best 8th grade basketball coach, even considering you swatted my layup so hard you broke my arm. All jokes aside, you're the coolest and I love you so much. Mom and Dad, thank you for all the love and support you've given me over the years. I love you both so much. Hi, Mom and Charlie. It's Amanda. I can't believe we are at my senior Theta Parents Banquet. It feels like just yesterday I was bringing you to my first Theta Parents Banquet and introducing you to all my new friends. Mom, thank you for truly being the best mom and friend I could ask for. The best compliment I ever receive is that I'm just like you. You're the most hardworking, strong, generous, and thoughtful person I've ever met, and I hope to be half the mom you are someday. Thank you for always supporting me in whatever I do. From the time you did my makeup and hair and took me to every dance practice and competition, to now being there for me through life's challenges and navigating this new phase of life. You've always taught me to be bold and go for things I never even imagined were possible. I love you beyond words. Charlie, thank you for being the best bonus dad ever. From the time you came into my life until now, you have always supported me and have just wanted to be a fun bonus to my life. I can't thank you enough for finally helping me convince mom to get a dog, taking us new places to explore the world, and always making Jenna and I feel loved. I love you both so much. Hi mom and dad, it's Anna. Thank you both so much for everything you've done to help me have the best experience possible in college. It seems like just yesterday that you guys dropped me off at Abel Mom with tears in her eyes and dad with a big smile on his face. While you both have helped guide me towards becoming a responsible, independent adult over the past few years, I think we both know that I am just as needy as freshman year me. You are both always there to answer my phone calls when I need reassurance that things will all work out in the end. 
when I want to tell you a funny story about my weekend, or when I want to know it's for dinner at home on a Sunday night. You both have pushed me to step out of my comfort zone in many ways, and I couldn't be more grateful. The older I get, the more I realize that I would not be where I am today without my two amazing role models guiding me through it all. I love you both, and I'm so thankful for all that you do. Dear Mom and Dad, I can't believe this is my last parents' banquet. I want to start off by saying thank you. Thank you for always putting me, Riley, and Dylan first. I appreciate the sacrifices you have made so that I can be my best self. I would not be the person I am today without you both. Mom, I am glad to have gotten your kindness and positive spirit. You make me laugh and you understand my shopping addiction like no other. I can't wait to live with you again and watch our reality TV shows. You are an amazing mom who has helped me get to where I am today. Dad, you are the most hardworking and loving dad. I am so glad I can come to you for advice. You always know what to say and I am grateful for our long phone calls we've had when I'm in Lincoln and you're in Omaha. I will cherish our bond forever. You and mom have been great parents who have given me the world and I can't wait to be roommates again with you guys in the spring. Hey dad, it's Carly, your favorite and only child. Thank you for being my number one cheerleader in life and never letting me give up on my dreams. Growing up watching you, I learned to never forget my worth and to always believe in myself. You have showed me how to live a life that I can be proud of and how to have a strong work ethic without forgetting to have fun. As life goes on, I promise to always be your little girl and partner in crime. And to my guardian angel, you will always be my number one best friend. Life is not nearly as much fun without you. I promise to never forget the valuable life lessons you taught me and to carry on your light and soul to the best of my ability. One day, I hope to be half the woman and mother as you were to me, and I will always be unbelievably lucky to be your daughter. I am forever grateful for the 20 years that we did get. I love you forever, and I can't wait to see you again. To the both of you, growing up having the two of you as parents was the biggest blessing, and I am so grateful for everything the two of you were able to do for me. I can only hope to continue to make the both of you proud. All my love. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's your favorite and only daughter. Remember when the doctors told you that you were having another boy? Man, were they wrong. Four years have come and gone, and now we sit here at my last Parents Weekend celebration. I love you both so much. Dad, you are a person who values hard work and loyalty, and have always taught me how to work endlessly for my hopes and dreams in life. I am so proud of all that you have accomplished in your life. From all those early morning irrigation trips, going to Estes, sitting through all 14 of my dance recitals, and everything in between. You make growing up such a fun time in my life. I'm so grateful for your constant love and compassion. You push me to be strong, grateful, and to always have fun. I will always be your Tweety Bird. I love you. Mom, anyone you ask who will say that I was a mama's girl. Here I am, at 21 years old, still a mama's girl. I will always need to tell you how my day was, what I bought at Target, or complain about school. How lucky am I to have found my best friend in you. You are someone who I admire wholeheartedly and have always wanted to be like. Your love for family, friends, your students, and God are all qualities that make you such an amazing woman. You are my biggest cheerleader and you push me to be creative, open-minded, helpful, and graceful. I can never thank you enough. You are my forever best friend. I love you. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's your Punky Poo. Well, here we are, our last parents' banquet together. Where did all the time go? Mom. I'm so lucky to have a best friend like you. Throughout my life, you have been my biggest role model, and I would consider myself to be the luckiest girl if I even turned out to be half the woman you are today. You are the most selfless, caring, and patient person I have ever met. Thank you for always being my shoulder to cry on and always being there for me when I need you. I will never take for granted having a mom like you. Dad, you have taught me how to be strong, assured, and confident just like you. Thank you for always being my voice of reason and giving me the best advice to calm me down. You are so thoughtful and always make sure to take care of your family. Whether it came to planning every family vacation, making me breakfast every morning, or taking the time to make sure my car was warmed up on a cold day, you always did the most. Don't forget that I love you every day and that I will always be your little girl. To the both of you, thank you for always making it work for our family. You have made so many sacrifices along the way, and although it has taken me some time to recognize it, I appreciate you two so much. No matter where life takes us, I know I can always count on you. Love, Cassie. Mom, I don't even know where to begin. 
I could not be more grateful to have you as my mom. You are my greatest supporter, friend, and confidant. You push me to be a better woman and remind me that I am always enough. You are someone I deeply admire and look up to. The most passionate, understanding, and hilarious woman I've ever met. My favorite compliment is being told that you and I are twins. Dad, you are my rock and are the best shoulder to lean on. You are always there to help me when life gets hectic and remind me to breathe. Your dedication and selflessness is inspiring to me, and I've always looked up to you tremendously. You make me so proud to be your daughter, and I hope that I make you just as proud each day. I am so grateful for your unconditional love and support. You are my best friend, best dad ever. Thank you both for all that you do for me. There isn't a day that goes by where I don't feel reminded of your love and support. You both have made me into the woman that I am today, and I feel so lucky to have you. All my love, M. Hi, Mom and Dad. Evan here. Happy Senior Year Parents Banquet. Mom, I've been told my whole life that I look just like you, and I always respond with lucky me. I love nothing more than when people say they see you and me, and I take any chance I can get to brag about how you are my mom. I've never known someone who lights up a room and makes everyone feel seen the way you do. You always work to put your kids and family before yourself, and I can only hope to grow up to be half the woman you are today. You are my best friend, voice of reason, and number one supporter. I will always cherish the times I stop home to grab something, and you pause your day to chat with me in the kitchen for hours on it. Dad, ever since I was young, you've always encouraged me to not take life too seriously while still working hard at the things that are important. I will forever cherish our Friday morning breakfast dates filled with you listening to what is new in my life and offering advice when needed. One of my favorite memories together is traveling to the Minnesota game my freshman year. I will always admire you for the way you can make a bad situation into a funny story, and I hope to carry that attitude with me moving forward in life. To the both of you, I feel so proud to be your daughter, and I can't express in words how much I love you guys. Hi, Mom and Dad. Can you believe I'm a senior already? Seems like just yesterday we had tears in our eyes after moving me into the East Side Suites, even though I was only a short 20 minutes from home. I've had such a great experience here at UNL and can't thank both of you enough for helping me get here. Mom, our family would be a train wreck without you, from running four kids to sports practices, making meals, never missing an event or game, endless loads of laundry and cleaning, plus so much more, you make being a mom look easy. Thank you for picking up the phone when I call, always wanting to make a trip to Target or Costco, being my walking partner, teaching me how to cook, and giving me hugs when I really need them, even though you know I'm not really much of a hugger. I hope someday I can be just as great of a mom as you are. Dad, you have taught me some of the most important things in life. You've helped me do my taxes, fix just about anything, or been my secondary volleyball coach after I had a bad game. Most importantly, you've instilled in me the value of hard work, Thank you for becoming a volleyball dad and now a sorority dad for me. I will never forget all the weekends traveling around the U.S. for tournaments with you and mom. I thank God every day that he gave me the best parents. Thank you for being supportive of everything I do and for always letting me come home to visit. I am forever thankful for the values you have instilled in me since a young age and I promise to bring them into my adult life. I can't wait to celebrate with the both of you tonight. Love, Grace. Mom and Dad, I don't even know where to start because I really can't believe that four years have already gone by. I can remember you guys both moving me into my freshman year dorm at Abel and feeling so nervous and overwhelmed with what the next four years would bring. Thank you guys for always showing me what matters the most in life and teaching me skills to be a strong, independent, and kind person. I am so thankful to have you both as constant reminders in my life that I need to take things slow and really embrace and enjoy each moment in my life for what it is thank you so much for always supporting me and loving me no matter what mom thank you for always being the person i can look up to the most and helping me with all the little steps that i am taking in my life you always have the right things to say calming me down when life gets to be too much thanks for always answering my phone calls even if i am calling for the third time just to tell you what i had for dinner and for always being a great listener You are the biggest role model in my life, and I love you so much. Dad, thanks for all the amazing home-cooked meals and for always being the sense of logic in my life when things get stressful. You have helped me navigate many different adulting tasks, and as you always say, remind me not to sweat the small things. Thanks for always making sure to keep things fun, interesting, and of course, competitive. I am so grateful for all the things you have provided me throughout my life and all the experiences both you and mom have given me. Thank you for always supporting me, and I love you so much. 
I am so excited to move back home for my student teaching experience and get to live with you both for my final semester of college. We get to be roommates again. I seriously love you both so much and would not be the person I am today if it weren't for all the great qualities you have both given and taught me. You are such strong role models and I am so appreciative to have two wonderful parents like you both. Your constant support and love does not go unnoticed. I love you both so much. Your favorite child, Grace. Mom and Dad, I can't thank you enough for everything you have done for me and continue to do. I am so thankful for all the sacrifices you have made for not only me, but my sisters too. Dad, you are my role model and have the kindest and purest heart. You raised me to be caring, intelligent, thoughtful, and tough. I am lucky to have a father like you, and I admire everything I have learned from you in these past 21 years. You have made me realize mistakes are okay, even after backing into the garage door with your car. Mom, you have shown me to always persist through the toughest battles and how to be the life of the party. You have pushed me to be a hard worker and to be selfless. You both truly have helped me grow into the person I am today. You also have shown me how thankful I should be for the life I am blessed to live. I love you both so much and appreciate you every day. Love, Hallie. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's Jenna. It's so hard for me to put into words how thankful I am for all that you do for me. You've both taught me the importance of spreading my wings and not being afraid of change. As my next big life-changing transition is slowly approaching, I take so much comfort in knowing I'll have both of your support through it. Mom, you've always shown me just the right amount of tough love that has turned me into the independent and confident woman I am today. I'm so grateful that I got my wit, sass, leadership, sense of style, and basically my whole personality from you, even if it means we butt heads from time to time. I can't thank you enough for all the little life lessons you've taught me that's turned me into the person I am today. Dad, otherwise known as my career coach, financial advisor, handyman, and so much more. You're one of the most selfless and hardworking men I've ever met. I can only hope I have half of the self-drive as you do. Thank you for everything you do to provide for our family. I will forever cherish our weekends spent watching hours of football on the couch together. You've both sacrificed so much in order to see your children happy, which I am beyond grateful for. You've also set the perfect example of what a loving, dedicated, and selfless relationship looks like. I love you. Hi, Mom and Dad. I can't believe we're already at my senior year parents' banquet. I'm so lucky to call you both my parents, and will be forever thankful for all the amazing memories and life lessons you have taught me. Mom, thank you for everything. You've taught me to be kind, to have good manners, and to take everything on full-heartedly. You may be the only person who loves Kappa Alpha Theta more than me, but hey, this house wouldn't run without you. You were the best co-recruitment chair a girl could ask for. I'm so thankful to have you as my mom. You're the greatest role model. I love you. Dad, thank you for teaching me how to have fun. You've taught me to work hard and to always enjoy life. You are the greatest dad. Every time you tried to teach me a sport as a kid, heated up my car before school, or texted me goodnight before bed, I've always known that you're there for me. To the both of you, thank you for being amazing parents and giving me the greatest life. You've taught me that I can do anything I put my mind to, and for that I am so thankful. And most importantly, thank you for fixing my underbite. I love you both. Love, your favorite daughter, Jenna. Dear mom and dad, thank you for being the most genuine and hardworking role models I could ever ask for. You two show me what kind of love I deserve every day. Dad, you make me laugh every time I talk to you, and you always make every bad or anxious day better, even if it's just a phone call or a Snapchat. Thank you for teaching me to golf, being my voice of reason, and showing me how to get up and try again after any setback. Mom, you are the epitome of a strong woman, and I think anyone who's ever known you would agree. You never let anything knock you down, even a metal spine. You have taught me what it means to be resilient, to give back, and to not let anyone see me cry, but also that I always have you two as a shoulder to cry on. We have always been two peas in a pod doing everything from gymnastics to traveling the world together and you are my very best friend forever and always. I am forever thankful for the family we have and you two have shown me what real love and strength look like and I cannot thank you both enough for that. Thank you for always making my impossible dreams a reality from opening Airborne to helping me live in Paris for the summer. You two always do everything and more to support me. Thank you for always answering the phone, forgiving my mistakes and being my best friends. I love you both so much. Dear Dad, thank you for being such a joy in my life. I'm so grateful to have someone so fun-loving such as you as a dad. 
From when I was a young girl to now, you've always known how to make me smile. I wish I could go back to our adventures when I was younger, but while they aren't as frequent, we still find time to enjoy the moment. As I close out this chapter of my life, I want you to know how thankful I am to have your support along the way. You've always believed in me and whatever I wanted to do with my life. Thank you for taking the time to drive seven and a half hours down to Nebraska for multiple home games and events during the year and for being one of my biggest cheerleaders. I love you, Dad. Dear Mom, oh, how I wish I could be as fabulous as you. You are so loving and empathetic, and I couldn't do life without you. You've always pushed me to be my best self, and while we aren't always on the same page, you've always spoken with your heart, which has sometimes turned out to be right. I appreciate everything you've given me throughout my life and all that you continue to do. It's weird to think that my time at UNL is coming to a close, but thank you for being my other biggest cheerleader and for embracing Nebraska and all that I'm involved in here. Not long ago did we start sharing three things we are thankful for with each other before bed every night over text, and tonight I'm thankful for you, Dad, and Brooke, and that you guys could all make it, that we got to spend this special moment together, and that I have your love and support in everything I do. I love you, Mom. Hey, Mom and Dad. It's your favorite child, Kate. I can't believe how fast time has flown by, and I can't believe I'm already a senior. Mom, you are truly the best mother, role model, and friend. You are the most selfless and strong person I know and are the reason I am the woman I am today. When people tell me they see parts of you and me, I usually think to myself, I can only hope. Thank you for everything, the encouragement, words of advice, and all of the little and not so little things you have done for me. Dad, I am so grateful to have grown up with such an intelligent and supportive man by my side. You have taught me so much, from how to jump a car, maybe a few too many times, to how to reach my goals and never give up. Thank you for always believing in me, even at times when I wasn't sure if I believed in myself. I love you both so much and will forever be thankful for the sacrifices you have made for me throughout my entire life. I can't wait to see what this next chapter of life holds, and I owe it all to you. Hi, Mom and Dad, and happy Parents Weekend. Who would have thought I'd be graduating in four years after changing my major three or four times? I've honestly lost track. Mom, thank you for knowing how I always feel before I do. They say mothers always know, but you stand out because you also always understand. You've been my first friend and continue to be that person for me the past 21 years. Whether I'm happy, sad, stressed, or mad, you'll forever be the one I go to, and for that, you're my comfort person. Dad, to sum you up in two ways, hardworking and giving. Your little acts of kindness never go unnoticed from mom and I, to always walking me out to my car whenever I leave the house, leaving me notes that always end with love dad, cleaning the snow off of mom and I's cars on your work breaks, and going into work early to come to any and all of my events. I know you were really mad when I quit basketball and volleyball, but you adapted and became the best cheer dad ever. You've given me the example of if people wanted to, they would, but I don't think anyone on this earth stands a chance next to you. Being lucky to have you both is an understatement. Love, your Kenny. Hi, Mom and Jim, it's Lauren. I can't believe I'm sitting here as a senior with you guys at our last parents' banquet. My whole college experience has gone by so fast, and I can't thank you both enough for everything you have done to get me to this point. You both have taught me so much, and I want to thank you for always putting up with my shit. Mom, you and Grandma are my most favorite people in this world, and I look up to both of you so much. Jim, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for all those times that I may not have said it before. As my last year is flying by, don't get too sad just yet that your baby is all grown up. Well, maybe Aspen is considered the baby now. Anyways, I love you both. Lauren. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's your favorite speaking. Can you believe I'm a senior? Because I don't want to. Growing up with three older brothers was no easy task, and I'm sure raising all of us wasn't either. To say I have endless respect and admiration for you both would be an understatement. Dad, I've learned a lot from you over the years. My sarcasm, stubbornness, and comeback abilities were all thanks to you. I know it was definitely a learning curve for you to raise a daughter, but you taught me to be tough and fight for what I believe in. Mom, where do I even begin? You are my best friend, confidant, and the best mom I could have asked for. You've taught me how to be kind, never to judge, and how fun shopping is. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to speak about everything you've done for me, but the list is endless. I would be lucky to become half the woman you are. 
I can't thank either of you enough for all that you've done for me and continue to do for me. Love you. Hey, mom and dad. I know this is Theta Parents Banquet number six, so I'll do my best to keep this short, but I just wanted to take a moment and tell you how thankful I am to have you two as my parents. You guys have stuck with me from getting D's on my third grade spelling test to proofreading my grad school applications. My spelling never did get much better. No matter what I'm doing, you guys are always right behind me telling me how proud you are of me. But I never get to tell you how proud I am to be your daughter. Dad, you taught me that hard work pays off, but having fun and enjoying the little things is what matters in the long run. You remind me to stick up for myself, do work that I'm proud of, and that college is all about having fun. I'm so proud to be your daughter. P.S. Sorry about Woodchopper's freshman year. Mom, getting called a mini Jenny is one of my favorite compliments. You kill it in the corporate world, care so much for those that you love, and find beauty in everything. And you'll always be my favorite running partner. You inspire me to find what I'm passionate about and to never give up until I've achieved what I've set out to do. I'm so proud to be your daughter. You guys have been my cheerleaders, nurses, role models, financial investors, and best friends. But most importantly, you guys have been the best parents I could have asked for. I love you so much, so cheers to another Theta Banquet, and let's go to Barry's. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's me, your favorite child ever, Macy. It feels like it was yesterday when me and Mom were holding back tears in the car and moving me to the suites. It's a good thing I only moved 20 minutes away from home because I love to come back and eat home-cooked meals with two of my favorite people. Mom, you are my best friend, and we really are two peas in a pod. You're always there for me when I need someone to talk to and listen about my day. You always cheer me up when I'm sad. You're my favorite person to shop and laugh with, and I love you so much. Dad, you're the best advice giver, fix-it guy, and hardest worker I know. You are always there to encourage me to accomplish my dreams, no matter what they are, and motivate me to work harder. Whether it's how to jump a car, a question in school, or a new adulting thing I haven't encountered yet, you always pick up the phone to answer my questions. I've learned so much from you during my life, and I love you so much. Mom and Dad, I'm so thankful I was blessed to have you guys as my parents. I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for you two. You guys are my greatest role models, and I'm proud to have you two as my parents. Thank you so much for all the support and love throughout my life, and especially these last four years. I love you guys so much, and I can't wait to celebrate tonight. Love, Macy. Hey, Mom and Dad, I genuinely owe you both the biggest thank you ever. Thank you for everything over the past 21 years. I feel so lucky to not only call you my parents, but my best friends. Dad, I truly do not know what I did to deserve a dad as amazing as you. Your hard work and determination is something that I have always admired about you and something that never goes unnoticed in our family. I am so incredibly grateful for everything that you do for our family. Thank you for always making me feel so loved. Oh, and also thank you for always fixing everything I break. Mom. I want to start out by saying thank you. You are simply the most selfless and loving person I know. You're always there to listen, answer my phone calls, shop, and motivate me. Thank you for always being my biggest supporter, my number one fan, and most importantly, my best friend. You're simply the best there is. To you both, I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for the love and support you have both given me. You have both always pushed me to be the best version of myself, And for that, you truly are the best parents in the world. And there is no one else I would rather do this life with. I love you two more than anything. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. It's me, your favorite daughter. To my old man, I want to say thank you for reminding me to not stress about the little things and to not take life so seriously all the time. You never fail to make me laugh no matter how bad of a day I've had. I wouldn't want to eat a whole bag of Tostito chips in one sitting with anyone else. You're truly the best girl, Dad, you never thought you would be. Love, Gigi. To my mama Mia, thank you for being my biggest female role model. I can always count on you to listen to my silly problems and tolerate my gigantic attitude, yet still manage to give me the best advice. I hope I can be at least half the woman you are someday and whip up a mean batch of banana bread like yours. Love, Mads. Okay, that's all. You're both the best and I love you both so much. Mwah! Hi, mom and dad. I am so thankful for this opportunity to express my gratitude for everything you have done for me and the endless support you have offered over the years. You have pushed me to be a driven, caring, and maybe a little too responsible of a person, but have always reminded me that balance is important and to take the time to enjoy life. Mom, being able to join you as a Rho Theta has been something more special than words could describe. Your work ethic and selflessness is something that doesn't go unnoticed and is something that I strive to have. 
Dad, as the father of three girls, you never failed to support us in all of our endeavors. Though sports were never in the cards, you were at every dance recital and competition and never failed to remind me of how supported I am and how proud you and mom are. You both are extremely hardworking and have given me and my sisters everything we've ever asked for and more. I hope to continue to make you proud and hope to continue being more like you both. Love, Madison. Hi, mom and dad, it's Marley. I wanna first say the love and support you both have shown me these last 21 years does not go unnoticed. These last four years on my own have made me realize just how blessed I am to have both of you as my parents. You both have taught me so many valuable life lessons that make me the woman I am today. If only I could tell my high school self to take out my headphones and listen to your stories, to wear a jacket because I will get cold, and not to take for granted the love and attention you both gave me as not everyone is as lucky as I am. Mom, you are the most beautiful, charismatic, and strong person I know. The older I get, the more I see how much we are alike. You have overcome so much in your life and still remain such an amazing mom, businesswoman, and best friend. You can talk to just about anyone and leave them with a bigger smile than they had. I hope that I can become just half the woman that you are one day. Dad, you are my biggest fan. From being a coach to a noisy dad on the sidelines, you have always seen the best in me. It is beautiful to see the way God works through you every day and the passion you have for helping others. Something I will never forget is no matter how bad I felt I messed up when I was younger and no matter how mad you were at me, you never let more than 10 minutes go by without knocking on my door and telling me how proud you are of me. I hope I am lucky to meet a man that loves God, his children, and country music just half as much as you do. I love you both so much. Thank you guys for being here tonight. Mom and Dad, I believe I have a lot to thank y'all for, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to properly show the amount of gratitude that y'all truly deserve. Thank you for instilling confidence in me from such a young age and teaching me I can be a powerful woman, yet also walk with grace and humility. Mom, you're the most beautiful woman on the planet, and I'm honored when people say I take after you. You've taught me that nobody puts baby in the corner, and I can confidently say you taught me to unapologetically be the best version of myself. Dad, I absolutely love being your little girl. From teaching me how to drive to building 10,000 piece Lego sets and screaming at the college football game on TV with me, I'm proud to say that I am your daughter. I can honestly say not a day has gone by in my 22 years of life where you haven't taught me something, made me laugh, or made me feel loved. I definitely get my stubbornness from the both of you, and thank you for handling me in my crazy dreams. I'm incredibly lucky to have a support system like y'all. In my four years, y'all have trekked from Alabama to Nebraska to watch me dance at almost every home game, and I still get emotional every time I see y'all in the stands. Y'all definitely win the Parent of the Year award for that. Don't worry, I know I'm the favorite child, but I will never tell Sam. I love y'all so much. Hey mom and dad, it's me, your youngest and favorite daughter, Reagan. I wanna start by saying thank you so much for everything. Growing up, you both have showed me nothing but love and I could not be more grateful to be your daughter. Dad, you are the smartest man I know and have taken such great care of me and our family. You have been my biggest supporter and I will always cherish all those years of you driving me to cheer at six in the morning and never missing a swim meet. You're the best dad and greatest husband to your beautiful wife and my mom. Mom, you are truly the most amazing person I know. You continue to inspire me every day to learn something new and follow my dreams. Nothing makes me happier to hear from others how much I'm just like you. I love you both so much and cannot thank you enough for making me the woman I am today. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's Sydney. Can you believe we're here for my senior year, especially when I said I would never end up in Nebraska? There's so much I could thank you both for that have gotten me where I am today, but there's no way I could fit that in this video. Mom, you are the strongest person I know in my rock. Thank you for always picking up the phone and giving me the guidance and advice I have needed the last four years. Your love and selflessness inspires me daily. I would be lucky to become half the woman and mother you are someday. There are no words to describe how amazing you are. Dad, thank you for never letting me give up on myself. Being told I'm a menu is the best compliment. You are my constant motivator and I would not be where I am without you. Thank you for being there for me every day and helping me love myself. Thank you both for always sticking by me. I am so grateful for both of your sacrifices that have gotten me where I am today. Thank you for always believing in me and pushing me to be the best version of myself. I could have not been luckier to have had the both of you as parents. I love you both so much. Hi, mom and dad, it's Taryn. 
I wanted to start off by saying thank you for putting up with me all these years and never failing to show me how much you love and support me. Mom, thank you for teaching me to always approach everything in life with a kind heart. You are the most selfless person I know and without a doubt, my best friend. I'll always cherish our numerous shopping sprees and girls nights in. You give the best advice and have always taught me to find the positive in any situation. The best compliment is when people tell me that we are so alike. I hope I will be even half the woman and mother that you are someday. Dad, I think it's safe to say I get my humorous side from you. You always know how to make me laugh even when I'm feeling down. Some of my favorite memories are dancing around in the living room with you and never missing a good garage sale. You have shown me how to be both strong and brave in everything I do in life. Thank you for showing me that life shouldn't be taken too seriously. To both of you, thank you for always loving me so unconditionally. My goal will always be to make you both proud. I am so blessed to be able to call you my parents, and I love you both more than you know. Love, Taryn. Mom and Dad, I always brag about how I have some of the best parents out there, and these last four years have really proved that to me. From all my tears because of chemistry tests to the stress of applying for graduate school, you have always let me dream big and supported me in every way. Thank you for teaching me to be compassionate and kind and always ensuring me to not sweat the small stuff. Mom, thank you for making sure I know that shopping can cure all problems to always finding the good in every situation and for our shared love of theater. Dad, thank you for teaching me to have a strong work ethic and ultimate kindness even in the most stressful situations. However, I am sorry I will not be coming back to run the family farm. You always taught me important life skills that I will cherish forever. You will always be two of my best friends, but you gave me an additional two best friends, one of them I am so excited I got to share my senior year of college with. I am so thankful and lucky to have you leading me through life, and I know you're always one phone call away. Hi, Mom and Dad. It's Taylor. Can you believe it's senior year already? Mom, thank you for being my best friend. I can't even put into words how grateful I am for everything you do. You had taught me how to treat people, and I learned how to have such a huge heart for people from you. Dad, thank you for being my Superman. You have taught me how to be strong, independent, and know my worth. Whenever I have a problem or need any advice, I know you'll always be right there. To the both of you, I feel so blessed every day that I have you guys as my parents. I wouldn't be the person I am today if it wasn't for you guys. I appreciate both of you and all that you do more than you'll ever know. Love you the mostest.